All right, Motley Garagers, what is going on? So, I just want to give an update about my little Retroid handheld collection addiction. I just got my Christmas gift in, a Retroid Pocket 3 Plus. Um, I got some Holofax analog sticks with it and a tool set. Adrian just got his uh, Retroid Pocket Flip for his collection. So he's got a Retroid Pocket 2S and a Retroid Pocket Flip. He's got the hand grip on it. So I just put a Sonic Adventure on there for him as we set it up and put his email address on because he wanted to play me with, in Call of Duty Mobile so we can play together. I was like, yeah, buddy. I'm setting it up. I look over. He's sitting on his bed, just zoned out Sonic Adventure. I'm like, all right, all right. <laughs> That's what's up, you know. So, and Adrian, Xavier's just loving his dog on Steam Deck. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with how crypto has helped me out. Uh, no. No, 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 no. We're just going to allow cookies. All right. So, Bonk is 1.61 down or 1.61 up in the day. Uh, let's look at Bonk's market cap. It's 1.17 billion. And I believe it grew from the last time that we had looked at Bonk's market cap. I would have to go back and check in my other vlog video and see. And then, so Bonk's looking pretty good today. Now, altcoin, this is like, even though we're kind of like in a bull run right now, it's like almost altcoin season. Altcoins are just, they're, they're holding pretty good. They're doing pretty good. But let's check out Bitcoin. Bitcoin's back up. We're sitting at 42,000. We're up 1.73%. Uh, Bitcoin's 24-hour volume market cap is looking very strong. Bitcoin's market cap is looking very, very strong. We got a little bit of a wedge here and a Batman sell here. Right there, that little wedge. And how it goes up. That right there is telling me that Bitcoin's going to grow a little bit more before it drop back down. We might see like a slight down back down to like, I don't know, 4,200, maybe somewhere around that range. Maybe 40 to 4,218, maybe 4,216, 4,213. And then we might see a rise going heading back up strongly. Going up to 42.25 right there, 42.2. So that's a good thing. Another uh, meme coin that I want to check out. I want to check out Solana. And then you just saw Solana's meme coin, Bonk Token. That's just doing crazy. Solana's coin is right now at $72 a coin. At, it's up 1.77% in a day. Uh, at lunchtime, I was going to try and buy a little bit of Solana. But I'm also... Uh, staking some Solana. So the Solana that I sold for this TV, hopefully within a year, I'll be able to make those 3.3 Solanas back. But if Solana keeps going up, I ain't, I ain't making that back. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, I'll make it back, but it'll just take forever. You know what I'm saying? I'm only staking like four coins, four Solana coins. Um, so, do, 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 but I still got a big bag. You know what I'm saying? Safe Moon actually did a... Uh, bankruptcy so i think safe moves done i'm sorry everybody about that um but that's what we're here for this is like a video game like i said treat it like a high score and i look at a lot of these coins and the reason why i say i hold some of these coins and what i've learned is the technology in the coins so take 10 percent. don't be afraid to take profits and don't be afraid to buy back in into the coin that you like you know what i'm saying and then when it's a rise, you buy profits and you can buy stuff like that, you know, or, or the Loki. That thing right there has become my little handheld laptop. I don't even need to carry my laptop anymore. Just take my Loki. Um, so we want to look at Casper. We already looked at Casper's price. We look at Solana's price. Let's take a look at Bone. This is Shiba Inu's, one of their altcoins like Leash. Bone is down right now. This is an altcoin. Something that I want to follow because I actually hold Bone Bone Token. Bone hit a dollar thirty. Hey, that paid my electric bill. Zero point four one percent. We're down on the market cap here, so that's pretty good. And then just like uh, Solana or uh, Shiba Inu's other altcoin Leash. Ah. That is not how you spell these.
is at three hundred thirteen dollars a coin. Holy cow! What was the highest? I should have bought back into this like a long time ago. Let's look at the all. Uh, what was the price of leash when it so it launched and it shot all the way up to seven thousand dollars a coin? Then it dropped down to eight hundred forty-seven dollars a coin. Shot back up to four thousand dollars a coin. What? And at four hundred. Oh, this is a buy token right here. Let's look at the. Oh man, look at that market cap. That's a medium-sized market cap. Look at the volume in a day only. For that big of a coin, it's number six hundred and seven. But look at the. That's so crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the utility on this coin. This is something we're going to have to look into, like, hardcore. We're going to have to look into a Doge Killer Leash. These are all the exchanges that you can get it on. That's that's a cool coin right there. We're going we're gonna to follow that one. And then, I keep thinking of it. Keep looking at this GeoJam token right here. So GeoJam is down 5.45% within the day. Market cap's real low. You know, this is just something that you throw like $5 in and forget about it. You know what I'm saying? Whenever the bull runs hit, you just check your meme coins, you know? All right. So like Avox. Avalanche is at $39.25 a coin right now. Avalanche's market cap. That's uh, a pretty big, uh, big giant market cap. But this coin could move. So it's all time high was in. I don't like how coin market cap don't. Uh, $134 a coin. No, it was eleven twenty one or eleven twenty two twenty one. So that's not bad right there. That's that's not a bad price. Yeah. So I mean, all in all, all the cryptocurrencies are doing pretty good right now in the market. We're fear index index for seventy two greed. Everybody's pretty much holding. Really nobody's really like selling Bitcoin right now. Everybody's kinda like holding Bitcoin because of the doggone ETF that's going on, you know what I'm saying, so, even right now, like, when you see it like that, and you see the market like that, I still say buy and hold, you know what I'm saying, we're getting into the fear, and everybody's all red and in the fear, you know what I'm saying, oh, I didn't even know that you could do that, look at, see, this is when people didn't really know about crypto that much, and then as you see, as People got the knowing crypto real big in here. And then 2018, 20, that was, it was just, it's, it's all going uphill. You know, everybody's going to use it. All countries are going to, I mean, heck, you, you buy you a Steam card or you buy something for your kids for Genshin Impact. That's all electronic currency, you know. So, but all right, that's just me, Vlad. This is just a vlog about cryptocurrency today, you guys. I'm going to say like, share, subscribe, peace and love. God bless. And I'll see you guys in the next video. We will be doing a quick unboxing, though, real quick. I just want to see what this thing looks like. So, we haven't did an unboxing on our channel in a while. Let me uh, get the tape off. Leverage. Ooh. Yeah. I like that. That's cool. This one comes with a window. No, they just announced the new Retro Pocket 4. All right. Let's get some let's make some room for this baby. So, you get the Retro Pocket 3 Plus. You get a nice USB-C charger. And it looks like a manual. You don't get the card manual like the 2S. So they probably came out with that stuff right around when the Flip came out. Because the Flip came out after the 3 Plus. 
And I like the history of these things. Like, I remember when the first Retroid Pocket came out, I was going to try and order one. Um, but, yeah, you know. So I was like, all right, I'm going to order a Retroid Pocket 2S. And I got that, and I liked it. Got You know, couldn't stop playing my kids. 2S, man, I just I couldn't stop playing it. Uh, you get a nice manual. That's pretty cool. That's something to collect. But let's fill this baby. So I got mine in U.S. I went to work. Um, we all play our handhelds and stuff. And somebody at work had one the exact same color. I'm like, oh, man. He's got it. I wanted to hold it so bad. <laughs> but yes, this, this feels like a little switch. It don't have analog triggers like the 2S or the flip. It has a nice little vent on the back. They say these are iPhone 6 screens. I'm going to have to like set one of my old iPhone 6 or my um, iPhone 6 screens up against it and see if it's the same size. You could buy different cases and they already come with the screen. So for $35, you could just... You don't have to like use a heat gun and change that out and everything. That's badass. Downward facing speakers. You get a 3.5 millimeter jack, USB C, and it also has a display port out. So, let's see. The size of this. That's a nice size compared to Xavier's Switch Lite. It's like a baby switch. Oh, that's so fuck freaking lovely. That's nice. All right, you guys. Well, that's going to be it on the Crypto Talk. And a little bit of an unboxing for the uh, Retroid Pocket 3 Plus. Check them out at GoRetroid.com. Next unboxing is going to be on Orlando Hunter. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting that truck, you guys. I'm getting that truck. I don't care if I got to work millions and millions of overtime and save up a bunch of bunch of money for a while i'm, I'm getting out of truck but all right you guys like share subscribe peace and love god bless i'll see you guys in the next video peace out